whatever. It knew what I was trying to do. All right, here we go. Um, this is Crazy House 960. Oh, my clock did not start until after that move. That's pretty cool. All right, so. Um, I have to get myself out of the mindset of chess nine, or out of chess two, because this is not at all chess two. Um, this is very un chess two like. All right, where do I put my knight? Maybe here. And. Yeah, well, why not? Let's develop the bishop. That might have been... c5 might have been a mouse slip. Either that or he just missed a detail here, but... Um, yeah, so let's hit the knight. I suppose the knight goes back somewhere. Okay, so now I have to make clever use of my resources. Uh, I'm not sure why it selected the text as I dragged that, but that's pretty cool. We might get uh, bishop for two, I guess. Two pawns, that is. Um, oh, but I do have initiative after that, so it's actually okay. Oh, you forgot this is Crazy House. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is Crazy House 960. Um, I can't say that I've played Crazy House 960 before. I mean, I could say it, but that wouldn't be accurate. Um, so, wait. I kind of wish I could drop a pawn to win more than I'm winning here. Um... So much indecision on my part. Here, can I just take that? And then as the rook takes, I place a pawn here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure that taking the bishop was actually the best move, which is pretty ridiculous. Oh, right, I forgot he could still take second. You takes and runs away, lives to take another day, or something like that. Alright, let's just see if we can keep some initiative going. Hopefully not get mated here. My spatial control is pretty cool. My development is pretty bad. Oh, all right. So apparently, I'm probably getting mated. Um, not sure how, but you don't sack a queen. Well, I mean, you might. You might just for fun. It could be fun. All right. So apparently, I'm giving a knight for two pawns. Pre moves work. This is nice. Um, oh, I missed knight there. All right, so we're going to be marching a little bit. That's okay. It's not that... F oh, this might not be so good. This might not be... Yeah, there it is. There's the mate. All right, that was cool. Offer rematch. Sure, why not? Um, man, I should have developed my pieces this game. It's like, that's a pretty fundamental thing to do, and I tried to break that rule, and it didn't go very well. Um, 
Oh, can I increase the board size? Yeah, but then I can't see the... Okay, whatever. I'll have to point that out to the designer, developer. Um, it'd be cool if I could increase this so you could, like, see... Oh, this is not the best starting position for black. Um, maybe knight c7 would have been reasonable. Oh, can I trade some pawns? Yeah, let's exchange. Okay, that's a good defensive move. Let's... Okay, if we can't exchange, maybe I can at least sack for some pawns. Yeah, but it'd be nice for the viewers if I could maximize the board. Um, Alright. So, yeah, my plan to sack for pawns is probably going <clears> to <throat> realize itself in the next couple moves here. Oh, interesting. Um... <laughs> Amazing that I can't build an initiative against that. Um, Alright, so here is my plan. We take a pawn, and then we take a pawn, and we just keep taking pawns. And then hopefully something good happens at the end of all of this. Unfortunately, I can't just push d3 here. Oh, what? Um, okay. I guess the important thing is that I not panic. And we'll take one of those. Uh, and then one of these. And so the key point is that two pawns on the seventh are worth at least a minor piece. Um, if you have more pawns in reserve, it's worth even more. But I've only got two to drop. I could collect a third one pretty easily and drop that too. But we'll start here. Uh, do I go just queen b1? I don't think so. I think I actually just go with the pawn drop, the obvious thing. Queen b1's getting fancy. There's no need for that here. So this is why I sacked my rook for the bishop on d4, so I could play this uh, pawn on b2. Okay, so I should probably finish my development, right? So now we just bring my queen out to a3 and then just promote on a1 over and over. Um, or if he forces my hand, I guess I just promote right away. Haha! I've placed my queen in such a manner that it forks two pieces. That is one unusual queen fork.
All right, so the point of the queen fork is to take the knight here. Um, it's tricky to remember which queen is the real queen, isn't it? So, I have to decide what's worth it and what isn't. I think we check here. I think this check is reasonable. So, I think I'm safe. I'm gonna sack for the night. And then take this rook. And then, provided I don't get mated, I have a nice combination. I can't pre move a drop. Yep, yep, yep. GG. Lackman's on time. So that's a thing, apparently. I didn't castle in either of these games, but uh, second game, castling was less important than the first. Um, okay. This is a strange, strange position. Uh, which way am I going to castle here? feels like I might castle queenside, so I should push on the king side right away. This is such a slow opening. Um... There anyway, I could make this more confusing. Here, let's play e4 to take the center. Okay. Um. What a tenuous position. <clears throat> Because now, I mean, I have the center, but it's kind of fragile. But if it holds, it's such a good um, barrier to help me advance my pieces. Meanwhile, yeah, Black's development is a little bit impeded by where all my pawns are at. Um, so there's h5. I was kind of afraid of it. it. Kind of slows down what I'm doing. But my position is just a little bit more solid now that there's no g5. So, um, there's f6. Well, I think this is safe. So the question in everybody's mind is, where is the weak point? Where is the little chip in the armor where everything breaks through? Now let's castle. Oh. Wait, he's going to castle, too. That's disappointing. Um, so, yeah, maybe d5 is the way to chip through all this. It's just so anti-thematic, but um, if it works, it works, so... You can't knock it for that if it does work. 
And if it doesn't, then maybe it gives me the time to build up like G4, G5. The key point being is if we exchange, I hi I'm hitting um, a couple things here. And that the obvious move is met with a not so obvious move. Okay, that wasn't what I was looking at. Um, I do have to respond to it though. Um, maybe I just don't respond to it. I wish my position were that strong that I could just do whatever I like here, but I think a response is required here. So now I might get two pawns for this. Um, yeah, pawns look crushing here, so we're going to start taking some pawns. Three pawns in hand. Three entire pawns in hand. Um, So there goes one. This is complicated too. So I still have, this is still supported. I might end up sacking. Um, we'll see. Yeah, we're going to sack a queen for two bishops. So now I'm holding all the things in hand. Um, and the question is, is it enough? Or do I need more for this to be successful? What an adventure. What an adventure. Check, check, uh, check, I'm not sure how to continue this. Probably just play a vague supportive move somewhere and just don't get made in the next two seconds and I'll be okay. I'm not sure if bishop d8 would have been good though. Bishop d8, king moves somewhere, and yeah, I don't know. Knight g8 might have been interesting. He might have had to sack the queen for a knight. But he also had a lot of initiative that was building here, so that's why I put this pawn just to stop him from playing like pawn c3 or pawn a3 stuff. Um, so it is possible to go back and forth through the game list. There's a spectators chat, there's players chat, both vacant. 
Um, but yeah, the sack back here was kind of fun. It all started with, um, so he plays the knight, I have to run, and then he plays bishop a6, and I get greedy, I guess I'll say. Like, I wonder if I had a better way to play this. Oh, yeah, GG. That's unfortunate that the time expired. There was no time warning. Um, you just have to pay a little bit of attention to it, but... Yeah, it was an adventure there, for sure. Um, I wonder if there was a better way to play this than just taking the bishop. Or, I'm sorry, than pawn at b5, which entombs the bishop, but might not be winning. Like, exchanging bishops seems okay here, I just don't know what white could attack with next. Pawn drops at h6 and g7 look crushing. Like, if I exchange, and then I play pawn h6 and pawn g7, it's enough to slow black down, but I don't know that's enough to actually uh, do anything. Uh, are there any other Sikhs in the lobby? Did not think so. So we could practice some end games. There's always end games. The like king versus knight. Uh, lose the king. There you go. King versus knight. Um, try to get the opposition. Like that. Whoops, that's a slip. Um, basically, just don't walk into a lost position, is the take from this. Well, this isn't too hard at all. Just don't walk ne right next to the knight. And you can just constantly approach it. Um, and there's queen versus knight, which is probably... I assume this has got to be trickier in cases where you're not just immediately sacking the queen. Oh, I assume incorrectly. You just attack the knight and then go where the knight used to be. Never mind, that was easy. Just kidding. Um... So yeah, and there's all these other variants out there. Horde 960, I bet, is confusing. I can't imagine how confusing that is. Um, three check 960, King of the Hill 960, is probably just like normal chess. Although the asymmetrical King of the Hill 960 could be something. There's definitely some potential there. Atomic 960. Oh my goodness. The most confusing possible thing. Let me see if I can find the source code for this site. And then maybe... Well, I don't know. I don't need to find the source code. I just need to suggest to the developer. There should be ratings and a leaderboard and all that good stuff. But also, I should see, like, I don't know how Zug does it with this chess bingo site, but there should be a way to integrate an AI to just constantly be in the lobby here. Um, and once there is a protocol or API for that, I imagine people will want to make bots and compete here. I probably have too strong of an imagination. Ah, the URL for this site. Um... It's chess variants uh, dot training uh, slash variant 960. I should make that an alias or command or something. Let's see, how does this work? Add command um, variant 960. Nice. Cool. That wasn't so hard. Uh, so yeah, that's the URL. I should probably even make a shorter command for 960, but that probably confuse everybody. 
At least variant 960 makes some sense. So yeah, we're seeking a 3-2 Atomic 960 game. Because I don't know Atomic Theory that well. And I think the asymmetrical Atomic 960 could be just a blowout one way or the other. It would not surprise me if some of those positions were just lost at the outset. I should simulate that somehow. something today so I might turn on the AC now before we start to cook in here um, there we go okay look we got a 960 position that should be good fun um, yeah me either. Good luck. Alright, so... We'll settle for the obvious crude threat. Oh. Uh, this is Atomic 960. Um, I possibly didn't make clear that this was Atomic 960. I don't know. Um, so yeah, the rules of atomic chess still apply. So here's the subtle threat. Um, I get to do this without endangering my king too much, so I'm giving a shot at it. Um, so now, I don't know, maybe I go after this anyway, and also that. Bold. So bold. So I play this. Uh, there's the threat. Oh right, that's forced because otherwise I play this thread. I forgot I had that. Um, so yeah, now we just play good old atomic stuff. Um, I don't know, let's bring the queen out, I guess. Just keep making cheap little shots until one of these pays out. Um, There's this, there's that, there's this. So this door number three is going to be the right one here. Yeah, it's difficult for black to move all the pawns forward two squares and not leave a hole behind. Um, yeah. Atomic chess is hard. I've gotten my butt kicked quite a bit playing it before. Um, uh, maybe I hmm, maybe I should play a slower time control. Uh, atomic is hard. <laughs> yeah. If you want, I could go back in the lobby and try something a little bit easier, because. Um, I'm accustomed to... Oh, okay. Sure. We want one more? Sure. We could do that. Um, I'm just used to getting my butt kicked playing Atomic, so it doesn't phase me so much this stuff happens. Oh, I don't have any cheapos. That's disappointing. All right. Uh, 
just have to play good moves. What's with this? <laughs> Alright, so... What do I do about the knights? I think I'm safe against the knights. Okay. That looks ambitious, sir. So here's the obvious crude, cheap threat. That's not the only idea in this position. Far from it. Oh god. Uh, this could be... Um, no, I think you just do d3. I was white losing here. Oh. Oh, now that you pointed out, actually I am just winning this. Um, yeah, I did not assume that this was winning at first, but the more I look at it, well, no, if I play queen b6, this, um, yeah, queen b6 doesn't win. My plan was just to take over here, and that's still the idea. So get three pieces for the queen, which is okay. All right. Um, and then we stop queen d5. Yeah, I was a little afraid of that. That's okay. We have bishops. He's got a knight. Knights are pesky creatures in the opening, but... Um, when it comes to end games, bishops are so nice. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Alright, so... Let's go over here. Alright, and just prepare to take this knight when it moves. Actually, I don't need to. Why would I take it? Unless it's annoying me. Uh, okay, fine. We'll force him to take my bishop. Force in the loosest term, because, like, players like to take pieces when they have the opportunity. Um, so there's a no actual need to truly force it. But. All right, now watch him run away. <laughs> All right, so if the rules are implemented properly, this is made. Okay. The rules are correctly implemented on the site, so I win. I was taking a chance there because I was curious if they actually got the rules correct. I could have just played rookie or rookie three check and done the whole thing with check, but um, I was curious if it would detect that the explosion takes precedence over the check, and it did. It was quite the gamble I took there, for no reason other than to see if it was implemented right. <laughs> but yeah, that was fun. Um, Oh, so I could actually, like, it's too bad there's no FEN below the board. Um, but for something like this, I could contribute this as a puzzle, with the solution being taken here. Although there are second best moves, like bishop here, bishop there. Um, moving the king is not so wise here. Uh, I'm not sure if moving the king just loses or not. King e7... Uh, rook d7, king e6, rook e7, uh, king d6, rook e6, yeah, that's a skewer. Wow. Um, yes, if king c1, or king c8, just rook d8, uh, king b7, rook b8, oh. Hang on, this isn't so obvious. 
Scepter King C8, um, Rook D8, King B7, Rook B8 check, King A6, Rook B6 check, King A5, Rook B5 check, it's perpetual check. Minus the fact that there's this explosion here for the whole time, but yeah, if we ignore this explosion, we ignore this pawn being here, I guess moving the king draws in all variations. Um, interesting. Yeah, there should be more atomic puzzles that have to do with, like, these king chase things. Um, you can chase a king pretty far with a rook, because the king can never escape. It moves too slowly. Well, actually, that would be a challenge. Is there a way that a king can escape a pursuing rook? I don't think there's a safe way to do it. You'd have to be surrounded by your opponent's pieces. Like, you, your opponent would have to have two bishops on the same color square next to your king or something for you to escape that. Alright, let's go back to the lobby. Put out a seek there for atomic asymmetrical 960. Yeah, there's just too many tactics in this variant. There really are. I want to say I'm warming up as the room's cooling down. And that I'm preparing for whatever I might want to do stream next. Oh man. What game? I'm still not up to playing some of my tier 1 game stuff like um, Hacknet. Hacknet's pretty awesome, but I'm just not up to it at the moment. Um, is there something sufficiently easy in my game library that I could do next? Um, <laughs> there's Cat President. It's an awesome game, but it takes forever. Uh, there's Escapists, which I just can't win at. There's FTL, which crushed me recently. Uh, oh, right. Uh, learning Japanese to survive. Do I have anything more entertaining for you guys, though? StarCraft. I could maybe manage that. StarCraft is something I should really... It's been, what, almost a month since I've played it. Wow. Jeez. Yeah, I should try to finish at least the Terran campaign in StarCraft. Age of Empires 2. Do I have this? Do I have this? Yes, I do. <laughs> I think I want to try to finish StarCraft, or at least the Terran campaign. Alright, so... We got the Seek out there. It'd be cool if you could spectate games as well. So I guess there are two things that would be really nice to add. One would be a way to play against AI opponents. Um, two would be a spectating of live games. Um, so that there's a reason. Like, I think part of the reason Relay Chess failed, or just didn't gain any traction, is because there uh, was for quite some time that spectating was not possible. So you couldn't see other people playing. Um, I think that would benefit Variant 960 as well. At some point I should also see if I could fire up the Relay Chess server on my site. Um, well, we've got a moment. I have access to the source code. So, 
Oh, we need a system restart. But first, let's make sure that we've got our packages up to date. And then we upgrade our packages and then restart my server. Wow, my server's not updating. That's weird. I wonder if it's being stalled by the stream. Oh, wow. <laughs> so this dude says, I believe the James Kobe leaks will be far more prevalent than anyone ever thought possible. Okay. Jeez. These words don't make any sense. What else is new in the world? Well, apparently we're not getting a match here, so... Maybe I wrap this up. Maybe we go on to the next game. Okay, I think that's good for 960. I think we've seen enough. We could do a couple more puzzles, but... Um, here's a mixed puzzle set. Figure out what variant we're playing, and then figure out what's the best move. Oh wait, this is Crazy House. So you don't have to guess what the variant is. It sells right there. So, yeah, what's the best move? My first guess was Knight F5 but I don't know, maybe there's something better. think it's night at five? Or do we have a mate here? No, it's got to be night at five. Check. Oh, we failed. Or we could use the arrows to see, oh, it was night g8, and then knight f7, and then pawn h5, and then pawn takes h5, and then queen h6. Obvious. So obvious. Let's retry it. Alright, I bet it's knight g8, and then knight f7, and then pawn h5. Probably. Oh, can I not place my pawn on h5? Wow, that's great. <laughs> uh. Maybe it's pawn f5? Uh, apparently I have failed the puzzle somehow. Oh, well, never mind. There we go. And then queen h6. Easy. Alright, next puzzle. Alright, this is crazy house again. Black to play. Um, feels like the queen takes rook is just crushing. And the idea is you check the king out of the corner, and there's no way this king lives. 
it's just like impossible that the king could survive this. I don't see the mate, but it's got to be there. Bishop f2 is incorrect. Rook g4 is incorrect. Uh, pawn h4 is incorrect. Bishop e1, incorrect. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What is it? Bishop f4, and then bishop f2, and then rook e3. What was wrong with my bishop f2? There's like king f3, king f4, but this king is not living. King f4, something, something, black legs. Whatever. Whatever. So, next puzzle, also crazy house. Just a mere coincidence that we've gotten three crazy house puzzles in a row. So yeah, just check, check, check. Wow, it's like dragging multiple pieces. Um, Bishop's the one that I was trying to drop there. Success! Easy peasy. What other puzzles we got? We have like Racing Kings puzzles. Black to play. Um, that's not so easy. I want to say just like rook c6, but that doesn't win. How do I capture these rooks? Do I play rook d7 or rook g7 or something? My rook's invincible and it threatens to take a rook. But there's got to be better. There's got to be like an instant forced mate. Um, yeah, this is confusing. Any ideas here? <laughs> Probably not. It surprised me if we had ideas for what to do here. Rook d7 looks nice. But I'm just not sure that it's good enough. Well, actually, it doesn't even threaten to win the knight. Rook c8. So, rook c8, rook takes rook. Rook... Oh, wait, maybe the point is to stalemate. Maybe black can't win this, but rook c8, followed by queen b8, forces a stalemate. Um, which might be the best thing to do here. I don't see anything better. Let's do it. Alright, that looked fine to me. Oh, okay. This is the thing I missed. And then I missed rook c6 here. Yeah, this is super complicated. That's a good puzzle. White to play. How does white come even remotely close to winning here? Like, how can there possibly be a good move? I just want to play queen d5. Um, oh wait, this just wins heavy material, because he can't take my queen. And then we do queen d5, probably. Um, yeah, that's just good. Easy peasy. Alright, so white to play. Do I just take the bishop and take the rook and just... I don't know. It seems too easy. Or do I have some other way forward?
do I just move my rook to hit the knight, and then my king just steps forward? This is all tricky. Now if I hit the knight, he just moves this rook, and I can't do anything very easily about the knight, because it would be defended by this bishop. Uh, I could do knight e2, which is forking a bishop and a rook. That looks nice. Okay, what else? I have knight f5. Oh, and then my king just walks. Yeah, okay, I missed that. Puzzle rating of 1931. That's pretty nice. Alright, so do we have just king e7 here? Or is that too obvious? It's too obvious. King f7. These puzzles are hard. Let's go back to the easy puzzles. And by that I mean end games. Sure. King, queen, queen versus king is a good one to know, by the way. So here's how you deal with it. Um, so you go to the other end of the board, and then you come back. And that's how you deal with it. Uh, you could keep checking him, or you just checkmate him. Either way, that's not so hard. Another way to deal with this. Put the queen here, put the other queen there. And step, 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 step. Well, that's stalemate. That's entertaining. Yeah, okay, so you have to start with this, and then you have to, like, triangulate. Half the moves I played there were completely ridiculous, by the way. King, Rook, for Knight versus King. Alright. King, Rook, Knight versus King. Uh, with the Jason Kings. Start. Um, I think this is the key idea. I'm probably wrong. So now these are adjacent. He can't take anything. Oh, I can't play rook b3 here. At least I can't win playing rook b3. Um. Okay. So maybe the knight doesn't belong in b2. but instead belongs there. Oh, but then this is the same problem. And then we just lose the tempo with the knight by going around the rook, somehow losing a tempo, and then stalemate. Okay. Uh, so that wasn't correct. Alright, so how do you do this? King to the corner. Knight to b2, I think. Uh, but then what? What's the core concept? There must be a concept at play here somewhere.
Oops. Uh, I boxed him incorrectly. Let's try that again. Oh wait, now he's got king a8. So that's not Zugzong either. Um. Hmm. All right, so maybe the both pieces have to end up on the dark squares. Okay, but now there's no way to force the kings to remain separate. Like, I could lose Tempe with the rook, but what's the point? That's stalemate. Um... So I'm sensing that I have to keep these two together and do something clever with how I go around these. Um, oh, that's a stalemate, too. Okay, so... Yeah, I guess the point is that the knight always has to be in front of the rook. So let's put the knight here, the rook there. And then see if we can, like, get the king to separate from the other king. Or did these have to be separated by a space? Um, hmm. If I could just put my rook on a3, I'd be good here. But I can't. Still can't put the rook on a3. King gets out this way. Maybe put the rook on a3 first? No. There's a separation step somewhere. Like, if I get this position with black to move, um, this would be better. Just don't know how to get that. I can't move the rook there. Don't know why I'm trying to lose a tempo with the knight. Oh, there's the stalemate. So there is a separation idea, but I just don't know how to pull it off. Um, <laughs> Let's go around? Maybe? No, this doesn't separate any better.
He's still no further from this square. I haven't been able to zigspawn him. Okay. Yeah, I guess as long as he's pursuing my king, I can't do a separation that way. I have to be able to lose a tempo with a rook or something. Oh, why didn't I just leave the rook here? Can I click my king? Yes, I can. Something wrong with my zoom, maybe. I'm zoomed correctly. Okay, so there's a separation. And then how do you continue from there? You just checkmate him. Okay, so I think I somehow came up with it. Um, let's try that again. Let's put the knight on b7. The rook on uh, c6. Get the king into the corner. Well, that's not into the corner. This is into the corner. And then play king a6 and rook b6. That's how you do the separation. Um, then just don't connect the kings again. And just checkmate. So we figured it out. We gotta lure the king into the corner. Lure is kind of the wrong word because it's forced there, but. So you go into the corner. There's your tempo move. Um, no, actually, that didn't matter as a tempo move, but there's the rook to g6 idea is the key tempo. And then you just step away and win. You could even probably simplify it like this. Um, So I think that's the key idea. So we got it. That's how you do it. And then if you're separated to begin with, um, um, <laughs> timed training. Uh, let's go to end game training though. Timed end game training would be silly because I know the end games. Let's play the... Oh, win the game. Rook A2. Easy win. Super easy win. Apparently not allowed by the interface. It's kind of difficult to win the game if you can't make any legal moves. Let's try that again. End games. King Rook Knight versus King. Start. Uh, surround the King. Keep surrounding. Check and mate. Uh, train again. Uh, what's the simplest way to do this? Check and mate. Keep the king on the edge. Well, that's stalemate. Don't do that. Um, check and mate. Easy. So easy. So that's your atomic end games. King queen versus king and a blocked pawn. That is, go near the pawn and take it. Not too hard of a concept. A little tricky in implementation, but... Uh, actually, this pawn is not the easiest one to force the opposing king next to. Um, yeah, that king is making this tricky.
There we go. Easy. You, you can't sack your... <clears throat> well, um, okay. Yeah, <laughs> let's win this game. Yeah, that, this, this one looks pretty special. Um, I don't know if you noticed anything different about this one. Alright, so because we don't have a king, um, I mean, yes, there's an obvious mate in two, but we can also... Uh, we don't have any legal moves. And the game is not playable. So yeah, I guess we win. That's pretty special. Alright, so yeah, this, we'll say the site's in beta. Because why not? Ah, so that's Chess Variants Training. Again, if you forget, forgot where the URL is, it's chessvariants.training. So check it out. Um, I mean, we could do time training. Uh, mate in one with third check. Sure. Check number three, how hard can it be? There we go. There's a check. There's a check. Here a check, there a check. Everywhere a check. That's a check. That's a check. Uh, that's a check. That's a check. Spot the check. So easy. Um, take the damn queen. Check. 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 Uh, rook takes. This one is a little bit trickier because the checking piece was on the other side of the board. Um, winning a rook. Winning a game. Winning a queen. And winning another rook. Uh, there's a check. Here's a check. Can I not do that? Oh. I have a score of 28. Yeah. So, go beat 28, I guess. We got time training for other things. King of the hill. Mate in one or king to the center in one? Um, mate. Uh, center. Mate. Mate. Center. 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 Um, mate. Mate. Center. Uh, this is tricky. I'm not seeing the mate. I'm definitely not seeing king to the center in one move. Oh, there's the mate. Um, center. Center. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's probably a mate here somewhere. Ah, it's probably this. There we go. Ah, uh, score 17. Let's try again. I can do better. Be the best there ever was. Defeat all the rest. That's my cause. Name all the Pokemon. Um, Alright, so that's probably mate. Probably mate. Definitely mate. Close enough. Uh, this is fun. Uh, that's a silly mate. That's easy, easy. Oh, this one. Just kidding, the other one wasn't legal. Um, this is mate. That wins. Uh, this is mate. Center. Um, it's mate. Also mate. That's the center. There's another mate. There's a the center. There we go. Ah, oh, that close to 30. Alright, 29. Not bad. 
not too shabby. Anti-chess. Forced capture. Okay. Find the forced capture. Well, that's an interesting exercise. It doesn't even say look for a good move. It's like, just find the move you have to play. Um, you know, when there aren't too many pieces left, it's not too hard to do this. When the piece that has to do the capture is right next to the target, uh, it's pretty easy too. Oh. Uh, get confused about what color you're playing. Uh, okay, that's a capture. That's a capture. That's a capture. Turns out computers are actually pretty good at this kind of exercise. Oops, that's not a capture. I was looking for a good move. Because I distracted myself. I'm trying to talk about something. Alright. 32 captures. Uh, there's a couple more things. Atomic mates or explosions in one. Sure. Kaboom! Uh, mate. Probably. That's not mate. Oh, kaboom. Mate. Ooh, that's not good. Kaboom. 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 Boom. Mate. I'm in check. Unless I have this. Uh, this is mate. Um, is this mate? Yeah. Whoa, okay. Here's the explosion. Yeah, this is mate. That's an explosion. Uh, that's mate. Only if you take the right piece. If you promote to the wrong one, that's not actually mate. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we found it. Twenty-six. That's okay. Uh, horde. <laughs> if you're the white player, checkmate. If you're the black player, destroy the horde. That sounds really easy. Uh, these. This is the most. Okay, I take back the fact that it sounds easy because. Uh, when you have this many queens on the board, finding the actual checkmate is hard. Um, from a perspective of winning the game, this is pretty easy. From a perspective of finding the mate in one, um, there's some details. Destroying the horde, though, is pretty easy. I think that's what these exercises should all be, is just... None of this mate stuff, but just destroy the horde. Take the last pawn. Just because you... What? Okay, that was weird. Um... Mate? Um... Uh, mate? Come on! You gonna give me credit for that last one? Alright, so I think we've done all the training, or the, the timed training. You've done all the find the third check, king to the center. I think these should just be horror to destruction in one. I think that's really what that should all be about, is just take the last piece by whatever it is that's capable of taking it. Because that's the unique aspect of that challenge anyway. Like, anti-chess finding the forced capture as opposed to find the winning move. Which is just insane. Find the forced capture is fine. Although it might be silly to have two puzzles that are both about finding a capture. Um, yeah, no, actually... <laughs> well, I don't know. Anyhow, if you ever played, like, the 1995 Windows PC game, Maurice Ashley Teaches Chess, it's got puzzles about, like, just find the captures. Or... Find the checks, or find the way to get your piece out of capture, that sort of thing. Those are good software. Um, anywho, uh, yeah, maybe later this afternoon I'll come back and um, do some StarCraft. Only because it's been so long since I've done it, and it's, it's a fun variant. Um, 
strange. My DNS is not resolving. I wonder if that's just an Ubuntu thing, or if um, my network has some DNS issues. Let's see. Before I like disconnect and have difficulty reconnecting later. Um, yeah, no, that's... Okay, my DNS works fine. Ubuntu's servers are having problems. So I can't update my instance. Anyway. Yeah, I think the, a number of fun things can be done with the training here. I think all this would entirely be more fun if there was spectating going on. So if you have comments, questions, bug reports, whatever, um, contact that address. Or just put something in the Lee Chess forums and they'll say stuff too. Um, I'll see if I can get Relay Chess back up at some point, because that was fun too. Yeah, I think I do have my network adapter to use Google Public DNS. Um, DNS isn't failing, it's just that the Ubuntu servers are non-responsive, so I can't pull in updates, which is the weirdest thing. Um, like, us.archive.ubuntu.com is not resolving. I don't know why. Um, I actually don't know the name of the developer who developed the Relay Chess site. He, at all times, was interested in keeping anonymity. Uh, I was more than glad to work with him, um, but I don't have his actual name. Um, so, that was, that was a fun experience. I got to learn um, how to develop with that sort of technology, and I got to assist him in setting up the server, because I'm more familiar with the administration aspect than the development aspect, but yeah. I, I've never actually got a chance to meet him, because he chose... Yeah, I, I'm not familiar. Anyhow, I'm sure he's doing plenty of successful projects and just doesn't have the time to devote to keeping um, uh, the site up to date and the server up. And more importantly, he just doesn't have the, I don't know, investment in wanting to keep that all active. And that, that's kind of similar to how, like, I have a dev server here, and I use dynamic DNS to access it, but I don't have any special requirement to um, keep some sort of server up in the cloud. So, I don't want to, like, pay for the domain name, I don't want to pay for another service if it's not going to be frequently used. But if people want to connect to my server, that's cool. I don't care. But, but yeah, maintaining sites... Um, that aren't heavily used is just an expense. Um, if people are using it, that's one thing, but it was fun while it was out there. So, yeah. Anyhow, um, yeah, I'll come back later with StarCraft. We did all the 960 things. We didn't actually play any Racing Kings 1440, but, you know, we have to save something for next time, right? Anyhow. The fan in the background hasn't been too distracting. Hope this has been educational. We did figure out that atomic rook and knight versus king thing. That was interesting. It only took like 10, 15 some minutes to figure it out. So that was cool. Once we got it. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Hope it's been fun, and uh, hope to see you next time. Have a good one.